Ladies and gentlemen, it's officially story time. As you all know, or if you don't know, now you know, when I was in New York, I got locked up at the airport. And I know there's a lot of questions as to why I got locked up. I'm gonna let you know. But I think we should start off from when I was in Nashville, Tennessee a couple months ago. That way everything kind of ties together. You feel what I'm saying? Let me start off by saying I've been flying for two years with my weapon. My weapon meaning my firearm, my pistol, my nine millimeter, right? Before I bought this pistol, I specifically asked the airlines, I think it was Delta at the time, what do I need to do? do if I want to bring this pistol with me wherever I go. They specifically told me buy a lock box, separate the clip from the pistol, close it, put a lock on it, whatever. I said, all right, cool. Are you sure? They said, yep, that's all you got to do. Fine. And for the past two years, I've been doing that. Also for the past two years, I've never declared a weapon. Now, when I say declare, I'm meaning telling the Delta staff or, or whoever I'm flying with, Delta Spirit, American Frontier, letting them know that I have a firearm. I haven't done that in two years. I wanna keep saying two years because that's very important, all right? So I'm flying to Nashville, Tennessee. I go to the airport, I check in per usual, go to the Delta desk. Hey, look, I'm going to Nashville. They say, okay, put your bag up. I go through TSA pre-check and I walk down to my gate. I was probably at my gate probably about 15 minutes or so and I get a phone call over the intercom telling me to come back up to TSA, right? <clears throat> I said, all right, cool. Me personally, I thought I forgot something. So I go back up there to TSA. I walk up, I said, hey, look, you guys needed me. Well, well, we didn't call you up here. As you all know, TSA has always has a fucking attitude, all right? I said, all right, fine. So I went to Delta. Delta says, hey, yo, look, do you have a gun? I said, yes. They said, why didn't you declare it? I said, what do you mean by declare? He said, well, you have to let us know that you have one. And I told him, I said, I've been doing this for two years. I've never had to do this. He says, what? He said, you never declared a weapon? No. We kind of went back and forth. It wasn't really nothing disrespectful. I was letting him know how I felt. He said, okay, fine. Just sign this slip or whatever. We got to get you on. Sign the slip. I get on my flight to Nashville, Tennessee. I go to Nashville, I come back, everything's perfectly fine. If you've been watching this channel, I've been to a couple of the cities after that. But each city that I've been to after that, I've noticed that my TSA pre-check number has not been on the receipt. So I've been forced to stand in the regular TSA line. Which if you know, if you fly like I do, or if you fly even a little bit, them TSA lines be long as f So I think I was in Miami uh, probably about a month or so ago. And when I was flying back, the line was so long, I said, okay, look, I got to call somebody, right? So I called TSA. TSA says, oh, you know, we'll, do, we'll investigate it because we don't know what's going on. I said, all right, cool. I say about a week or so passed by, TSA says, oh, yeah, remember the incident that happened when you was heading to Nashville? I said, yeah. He said, well, that's the reason why your TSA pre-check number is in your boarding pass. We've suspended you for a whole year. A year? For what? He says, well, you're in violation. I asked to speak to a supervisor, and I told him, I said, look, man, I've been doing this for two years. Nobody has ever told me to declare a weapon. He says, where have you been? I said, Cali, Vegas, Texas, New York, JFK and LGA, by the way, Delaware, Jersey, Philly, Florida, Atlanta. I just started naming all these cities that I've been to, and he's like, wow. I said, yeah. I said, for two years, I've been flying all these cities, and nobody has ever told me anything. He said, well, who'd you fly with? Delta, Frontier, Spirits, American. I've flown with all these carriers and no one has ever told me. So make a long story short, uh, it's in a process of getting reviewed and hope I get my TSA pre-check back. Now let's talk about New York. I go to Raleigh Durham Airport. I get to the front counter. You know, I tell them I have a weapon. I declare it, all that good stuff. I go through TSA. I get to my gate. I fly to New York. I land in New York. My bag is in a holding area completely normal when you're flying first class and sky priority you get your bag before everybody else all right so i went to the desk i said hey look i need to pick up my bag they said oh your bag i said yes ma'am my bag is the one with the pistol i specifically said my bag is the one with the pistol and they know which bag it is because the bag is zip tied like five different ways he says oh okay cool she grabs my bag i leave the airport i go to my room boom okay now mind you i'm in new york for a whole week seven whole days right so on the seventh day obviously i go to the airport i check my bag in again i declare my weapon this time it's a little different lady hops on the phone and says hey you know she starts calling security hey look this guy has a pistol now every uh every airport is different we need to declare a weapon right i've had to take my weapon out I, i've had to just show him i had to, i've had to cock the weapon back to show him there's no bullets in it I, like 
everybody is different. Like every state is different. But this was a little different. But I still wasn't alarmed because again, I'm in New York. I know New York. Crazy shit happens in New York, right? So I say about five minutes later, I turn around, I see two officers, right? And they got these serious looks on their face. Even then, I still didn't think to myself, I might be going to jail. I was just chilling, because again, I've been doing this for two whole years, no problem. And also, I've flown into JFK and LGA with no problem. They take me in this back room. They say, put your bag on the uh, table. I put my bag on the table. They open it. They take my pistol out. They cock it back. They said, do you have a concealed carry license? I said, yes, sir, I do. He said, well, do you have a New York concealed carry license? I said, no, I don't. He says, hmm, this is illegal. I said, what's illegal? He said, the pistol that you have here. I said, okay. You you guys didn't want to tell me that seven days ago when I landed? Because you guys knew I had the pistol when I landed. He says, yeah, you know, I'm not sure why I didn't tell you. How long you been here? I said, man, I've been here a whole seven days, man. He says, man, let me just call my supervisor and let's see what he says, all right? I say about 10 minutes later, you know, when, I mean, I'm in this room talking to these two officers. I mean, and, and they cool. I mean, they just doing their job, which I understand. Supervisor walks in. The second this man walks in, I knew. I was going to jail. He walks in, he says, hey, how you doing? Looks at my bag, looks at my pistol, cocks it back, does the same thing the other guys do. And he looks me in my face and says, we gotta arrest you. What? He said, we gotta arrest you, we gotta take you down. I say, uh, I say for what? He says, cause your pistol is illegal. So at that point, I said, uh, so even though the airlines told me that all I had to do was buy a lock box and separate the clip from the pistol and put a lock on it, I'm still going to jail. He says, yeah. So they end up putting me in handcuffs. They walk me out in front of everybody. So embarrassed. And I'm pretty sure I'm floating around on social media somewhere. They take me to the airport precinct, which is basically jail at the airport. I sit in this cell for probably about six hours while they book me and everything like that. Um, I'm in this cell with, with, with a, with a toilet and the toilet is clean. Everything looks straight in there, but I'm in there just sitting here thinking, damn. I'm really locked up right now for some bullshit, right? In the midst of all that time, they started to figure out who I was. So within the six hours I was in there, I kept hearing my videos being played all over the precinct, which I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. But at that point in time, I really didn't want to talk about what I do for a living because I'm behind bars. So uh, they take my, you know, fingerprints and all that stuff. They asked me a bunch of questions and stuff like that. They said, okay, cool. We're going to take you to Queen Central Booking. Queen Central Booking is, from my understanding, is the jail in Queens. Now, they made it seem like I was going to be there for only about an hour or so, right? I left the airport precinct at 6, got to Queen Central, I want to say, probably around 6.20ish. I was in jail in Queens from 6.30, let's say 6.30, to like 1 o'clock that morning. And again, people noticed me in there too, which is... It's really embarrassing because I'm literally in jail for something that I asked countless amount of times to keep from going to jail and I do it and I still go to jail. You understand what I'm saying? Being in jail six hours is not a long time for a lot of people. I understand that. But when you in jail on some bullshit, it is number one. Two, when you can't call nobody, it's even longer. They had phones inside the cell I was in, but me being out of state, I couldn't call nobody. So shout out to the dude that was in there. He ended up calling one of his peoples. And then they called one of my people's on three-way, and I was able to make some shake and get up out of there. Because if it wasn't for him, I'd probably still be in New York jail right now. So throughout the whole time, I'm meeting people in there, everybody in there for something crazy, right? And I will say domestic violence is really big in New York for some reason. I don't know why. So after a while, my lawyer comes in. So it's this, it's, it's like this little room that you got to walk into, close the door. It's, it's you, the glass, and her. You know what I'm saying? Just like the movies, just like the movies. She said, hey, how you doing? You in here on pistol charges? I said, yes, ma'am, I am. She said, oh, well, let me guess. You had your pistol at the airport. I said, yes, ma'am. He said, let me also guess again. The airlines told you you could have it. And I looked at her, I said, yeah, this happens a lot, don't it? She said, it happens all the time. He said, it's kind of ridiculous, but you know, it is what it is. A couple hours passed by, um, I'm in this hallway waiting to go see a judge. I'm in this long waiting line, standing with my hands on my back. I ain't got no shoe strings in my shoes. By the way, if you ever go to a jail, just 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 wear flip-flops, all right? Anything that has shoe strings, whether it be your jacket, your shoes, they take all that out of there. Just saying. So I finally see a judge or whatever, and I'm in front of the judge, and he's, from my understanding, he's a new judge. So in my mind, I'm like, dang, man, I hope he's, you know, 
I hope he's leaning on it, brother, because, you know, I'm really in here on some bullshit, right? I get in front of the judge. They're reading out my charges. And I'm just shaking my head. He looking at me like, <laughs> oh, boy, I'm about to tap that ass. At that point, he says, okay. He said, come back to court Friday. I said, so you want me to fly back up here on Friday for court? He said, mm-hmm, because you got to load a gun. And on top of that, it had 18 bullets in it. I said, man, damn. All right. Luckily, I walk outside. Make a long story short, my lawyer, she she ended up working some things out to where I had a virtual court visit. So as of right now, my charges are criminal possession of a firearm in the state of New York. Now, look, laws is laws, rules is rules. I'm not up here to discuss that. And I'm not up here to dispute that. Um, even though New York rules and laws are just crazy. I got to respect the law. Everybody has to respect the law. And I understand that. However, it does bear the question. All right. Wh why was I able to fly two years without declaring my weapon? Why was I able to fly to all these states where conceal when where out of state concealed carry is illegal and have my pistol? Why was I able to do that? I don't understand why the airlines allows pistols to be taken to cities and states that are illegal. In my own opinion, I think if I'm booking a flight, right? If I'm booking a flight, let's say to New York, there should be some type of banner that comes up stating, hey, bro, <laughs> you might want to think twice about this because what you're carrying right now, federal law states that you can't bring a pistol over New York state lines. I would think that the airlines, since this happens all the time, ladies and gentlemen, that they would do something like that. That's another reason why I'm making this video because that's just crazy. But anyway, I stand before you today to say pray for your boy, all right? Because personally, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope I get out of this situation. If I do, I'll make another video letting you guys know. I'm not really scared, per se. I'm a little nervous um, because of the simple fact that I was, I was told to do something. I did it. And I still got myself in a lot of trouble. So uh, you guys continue to pray for me. And if you guys do fly out of state, make sure you know your laws, all right? I'm telling you from a person that has pending criminal charges right now. <laughs> know your laws, all right? Because the airlines ain't going to tell you. Nobody's going to tell you. And they're expecting you to do your own research about this, all right? So if you're flying to any of these states, New York, I think New York, um, I want to say Jersey, Delaware, Hell, anywhere up north, out west, Cali for sure. Just be sure to leave your weapon elsewhere because they will lock your ass up. All right? I love y'all. I'll keep you guys updated.